Nothing helps you feel prepared for a big change to your diet like a good plan. Plans help you feel more in control. There is less confusion and less chances to slip up as you follow a well-laid path leading you towards your goals. Whether you're just starting out on your keto journey or you need a bit more structure in the diet you've been following for a while now, this plan is here to help you put the confidence back into the next two weeks of your food choices. Many people in our keto community have shared that they find the first few weeks to be especially tough as they adjust from their old habits to their new lifestyle. To help make that transition easier, we've created a 14-day ketogenic diet plan for you to follow along with. Our meal plan is based on the average macros of 1,500 calories, so you may need to adjust slightly for your own macros. The full meal plan, which includes a shopping list, is available in a PDF that you can download and print out. A word on cooking and meal preparation before we get started. We know you may not be able to invest a lot of time in cooking and preparing meals, so we've designed the plan to use leftover recipes, but the plan still has enough variety to stop you from getting bored. Remember to stock up on clear food containers that you can easily label and stack in the fridge. When storing salads as leftovers, it's best to pack up the veggies and greens separately from the meat and dressing to prevent wilting. Look ahead in the plan to make sure you're stocked up on ingredients and can prep some things in advance. When putting your shopping list together, look for ways to keep costs down, like buying salad greens in bulk, cutting back or reducing the number of spices used, or using just one type of oil and one type of vinegar instead of a variety. Ready to take a look at your trusty two-week plan? Let's get started. Breakfast will consist of a savory sausage gravy and biscuit bake, which is a keto update on a Southern classic. The biscuits are made with a base of almond flour, xanthan gum, and baking powder, enriched with frozen butter and egg whites. All that is baked on top of a savory mix of pork breakfast sausage and gravy. This recipe makes a large batch, which is great because we'll be eating leftovers of it for a few days down the line. For lunch, we'll have an oven-roasted caprese salad. While traditional caprese salad is just cheese, tomatoes, and basil, we add a hefty helping of fresh spinach, which is packed with fiber, magnesium, and potassium. This can help combat the keto flu. The secret ingredient in this salad is the brine from the fresh mozzarella package. Add it to the pesto for an extra pop of rich, salty goodness. This meal makes great leftovers because the longer it marinates, the more flavor it develops. At dinner time, dig into a buffalo chicken jalapeno popper casserole. If you'd ever like more veggies at dinner, feel free to add a small side salad or steam cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower or broccoli, cabbage fried in a little butter, or roasted asparagus. Looking ahead into the days to come, don't forget to set aside two portions of the casserole for days three and five. On day two, we wake up in the morning with keto coffee, which is made with black coffee and coconut oil, MCT oil, butter, heavy cream, or a combination. We suggest using one tablespoon butter, one tablespoon MCT oil, and half a tablespoon of heavy cream. If you find you are sensitive to fats, try starting with less MCT oil and more heavy cream to avoid digestive issues. A simple bacon and broccoli salad is on the menu for lunch. This dish is so easy and delicious with just six ingredients but tons of flavor. If you're in a rush or maybe you don't have all the ingredients on hand, you can just use mayonnaise for the dressing. But it'll have so much more flavor if you add a dash of apple cider vinegar and erythritol to the mix. For dinner, it's a keto twist on a comforting classic dish, one pot shrimp alfredo. Our version of Alfredo sauce is a bit more simplified and healthier than the original. Just a little butter, cream cheese, half and half, and Parmesan makes this sauce quick and easy. Once you've mastered the sauce recipe, you can use it to dress up all sorts of veggies. Feel free to add extra leafy greens or broccoli to the dish if you'd like more food at dinner. Keep the leftovers in an airtight container for dinner again on day six.
This starts as an easy one, using leftovers from our meals on day one. Heat up the sausage and gravy bake in the oven or microwave, and enjoy the oven roasted caprese salad at lunch. Buffalo chicken jalapeno popper casserole at dinner is best rewarmed in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. On day four, we see some new dishes. At breakfast, try jalapeno popper egg cups. We love this recipe for its combination of bold, spicy, creamy flavors. The bacon acts as a little collar around the egg mixture, so they really are like cups that are tidy and easy to eat on the go. They also keep very well and make fantastic leftovers, which will come in handy on days six and eight. Lunch is a five minute marinated feta and sun-dried tomato salad. Add a handful of leafy greens, a great way to squeeze in a few extra veggies. This recipe truly does take just five minutes and five steps to make one of the tastiest keto lunches. The feta and sun-dried tomatoes are perfectly complementary, and the dressing, made with oil, with dried herbs and lemon, brings all the flavors together. This is another salad which just gets better as it has a few days to marinate. Dinner is one of our all-time favorites, keto cauliflower pizza casserole with pepperoni. This is sure to satisfy your pizza and mac and cheese cravings all at once. Even if you're not a huge fan of cauliflower, we bet you'll still love this one, as the cauliflower disappears in the rich blanket of sauce and cheese. It also makes great leftovers. Just cover the pan with a lid or a foil and pop it in the fridge. We'll be enjoying it again on day seven. On day five, we'll have the sausage and gravy bake leftovers at breakfast so you can get up and go in no time. At lunch, we'll make a vegetarian keto club salad. A great example of looking ahead and planning for future meals is to wash and prep some extra romaine lettuce and cherry tomatoes for tomorrow. The club salad is a fresh vegetarian take on a club sandwich with hard boiled eggs, cheddar cheese, tomatoes, cucumbers and romaine topped with a creamy, savory dressing. If you take a little time in advance to hard boil the eggs and mix the dressing, the club salad comes together in just a minute or two. Then for dinner, the buffalo chicken jalapeno popper casserole comes back from two nights ago for a victory lap. A simple salad mixed into the sauce of the casserole is a great way to add some crunch and fiber to the meal. With no extra dressing required, you won't add many additional calories to the day. Today begins with jalapeno popper egg cups from day four, which warm up nicely in the microwave and they're even great served cold. Lunch is an avocado BLT salad with sweet onion bacon ranch dressing. Putting this together will be a total breeze if you've pre-prepped the lettuce and tomatoes the day before. If time allows, fry up the bacon and make the dressing the night before too. You can customize the dressing to be a bit thinner, if you prefer, by stirring in a tablespoon of water. Another great meal prepping tip is that anytime you're cooking a recipe that calls for bacon, to fry up a bit extra and save all the fat. It will always come in handy to enrich future sauces and salad dressings. Also, you'll wanna save some salad for lunch on day eight. One pot shrimp Alfredo leftovers from day two mean that dinner is on the table in minutes flat tonight. For best results, warm the leftovers gently on the stovetop. It's day seven and you're nearly halfway through the two week plan. We'll rely on our work from the past few days and finish up our breakfast leftovers as we prepare to incorporate some fasting in week two. That means there's no actual cooking today. The sausage and gravy bake is for breakfast, five minute marinated feta and sun-dried tomato salad now wonderfully extra marinated is for lunch, and the keto cauliflower pizza casserole is for dinner. To reheat the casserole, serve yourself a portion and put it into a small oven-proof dish, then warm it in a 350-degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Or you can just pop it in the microwave. Great job getting through week one. Now, week two will start to incorporate some fasting, which means even less time spent cooking and the added benefits of intermittent fasting. Make sure to drink lots of water in the morning, and if needed, you can also drink black coffee or unsweetened tea. On day eight, we'll use the last of our week one leftovers, so there's no food wasted. For breakfast, we'll have jalapeno popper egg cups, and for lunch, avocado BLT salad. 
For dinner, it's time to try another new recipe, nacho chicken casserole, a Southwestern inspired version of shepherd's pie. It strikes a great balance of flavors with a top layer of cauliflower, which is blended with cheese to achieve a consistency like mashed potatoes. This helps keep the casserole from being too heavy. One way to cook the recipe a little faster is to pre-cook the cauliflower while you're browning the chicken. This brings the total cooking time down to just about 30 minutes. And looking ahead, this casserole will also be your easy, quick dinner on day 10. Day nine begins with fasting, which we break at lunch with a bright, colorful sesame salmon salad. The dressing for this delicious dish uses liquid amino acids instead of soy sauce, which makes it a great choice for anyone avoiding soy. This salad will come back as leftovers on days 11 and 13, so be sure to keep the salad and dressing separate. At dinner, we have not one, but two dishes to enjoy. Sausage and kale soup for an entree, and velvety keto mocha mousse for dessert. The soup is inspired by Italian flavors and is packed with kale, cauliflower, and Italian sausage with a bit of carrot for flavor. If you don't like spicy foods, you can add less or no red pepper flakes, and you can also customize the amount of salt you use. This, like most soups, improves over a few days, which is great because it will be dinner again on days 11 and 13. For dessert, the Keto Mocha Mousse is a decadent, melt-in-your-mouth treat. The secret is whipped cream. This makes it so wonderfully light and fluffy. Keep in mind that the mousse needs a few hours to set in the refrigerator. If you don't enjoy coffee flavors, you can omit the instant coffee powder in the recipe and it will become a chocolate mousse. And you'll get to enjoy this dessert two more times on days 11 and 13. On day 10, we also fast through the morning, and then for lunch, we enjoy a keto meaty Mediterranean lunch bowl with ground chicken meatballs served over fresh veggies with a sun-dried tomato and basil dressing. The binder in our keto meatballs is Parmesan cheese, which can be pretty salty, so beware when adding additional salt. We see this again for lunch on days 12 and 14. At dinner, heat up nacho chicken casserole leftovers in the oven or the microwave. Days 11 and 12 are simple repeats of days 9 and 10. So on day 11, we fast at breakfast, have sesame salmon salad for lunch, and sausage and kale soup for dinner with keto mocha mousse for dessert. Day 12 also begins with a fast with the keto meaty Mediterranean lunch bowl at lunchtime and leftovers from our nacho chicken casserole for dinner. Enjoy a break from cooking. Consider using your time out of the kitchen to create your own version of a meal plan based on recipes you enjoyed. If it works into your schedule, you can even prep some meals looking ahead to the following week. Day 13 revisits the sesame salmon salad for lunch, though to switch things up, you can swap in fresh kale or spinach for the bed of lettuce. Dinner is sausage and kale soup, and keto mocha mousse. The soup can be heated on the stove top or in the microwave. Can you believe we've made it to the 14th day already? The final day of our two week plan starts with fasting in the morning. The keto meaty Mediterranean lunch bowl is back for lunch and dinner is a delicious, satisfying keto tuna salad with pesto. This recipe comes together in less than 10 minutes, and you can double or triple the recipe to have a great lunch on hand for the next few days. Throughout the 14 days, you can see how we've combined recipes and smartly used leftovers to keep your meals interesting and tasty while minimizing the number of ingredients you need to have on hand and reducing the amount of time spent prepping and cooking. With a little practice, you'll get the hang of the keto diet, and then you can repeat this plan if you'd like, or start to incorporate other foods into it as long as it fits within your macros. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget that you can download our 14-day ketogenic diet plan in the description of the video and let us know what you think in the comments. Visit Ruled Me for more keto recipes, meal planning tips, guides, and support.